Kam Singh. Welcome to another Aviva E3D How To. We are going to do a tutorial on cabling system in Aviva E3D. We will be teaching you how to create the cableway. Then we will show you how we can run cables between electrical equipment in the cableway. Lastly, we will add cable trays to the cableway that we have created. So let's start our modeling of the cableway. We start by creating the cabling system application. The cabling system feature can be found in the cabling system tab or the power wheel. We start by creating the cableway. We can use auto naming to name the cableway. Next, we will create the cableway branch. The inner radius of the cable way can be set up and the open direction is where the tray opens. So for this case, we are going to do a horizontal tray so the open direction is up. Next, we will get at the I class which is power. That means this cable way consists only of power cables. Now we'll define the start and end of the cable way. So we are going to create a horizontal cable tray that has been supported by the rack. We use the explicit and pick from the graphical screen. After we get the position, we can change the position. Instead of having the cable way in the center, I want to move the cable way a bit to the side from the center. Now let's choose the end of the cable way. Again, we use the center of the element we pick and we change the position of the west. Next, we can do a orthogonal route and you can see the cableway is created. We are going to create two branches from this main branch. One to lead to electrical equipment and the other one to actually continue the cable way from the main to the side thread. To do this, we have to create what we call an attachment point. So in the root attachment point, we can select the auto name and take reference from one of the existing points which is point 1 and point 2 and we can give it an offset distance which we can take the electrical equipment. So the first road attachment point has been created. Now let's create the second road attachment point which is of a fixed distance from the first point. Maybe 800 is too near. Let's go 1.2 meters. And when we use create road attachment point, the second road attachment point has been created. Now, let's create the other two branch cableway. 
we go back all the way to the cableway creation and create a new cableway branch. This time, the cable weight that we want to create is 300 mm. Let's add the class in our cable weight, which is the power class. That means only power cable is allowed to run through this cable weight. Set up the inner radius. This time, instead of using explicit, we use the rope attachment point. If we zoom in, we can see the rope attachment point that we created previously. Let's pick it, and you see the new rope has been selected. Let's use explicit to select the end point. Let's position the cable way slightly away from the electrical junction box. Let's create the cable way branch. Next, we are going to create another branch on the other rack. This time, the inner radius to be chosen is 600mm rather than 300mm. We define the branch head and here, and as we have already selected the road attachment point, we can use the road attachment point to define the branch head. For the branch tier, let's select the branch head first. We will lock one of the coordinates, the north and the up coordinate, and pick the new west coordinate for the branch tier. I should not have blocked the up value as I want the cable tray to rest on the top of the section. Now let's revise the up coordinate for our branch tip. The orthogonal routing is not exactly what we like and we can use the direction sequence to correct that. So it is just warning us that the start should not be up, rather it should be in the east direction. Let's create the cable tray branch. Perhaps this is not the road I want, so let's use the defined path and road to modify the routine. First, I'm going to the point 2 to move it slightly away from the point 1. Remember to change the mode to modification. The display will show you 
which point you are editing and once you apply the changes, you can get the updated table away. Let's change the mode to creation and we are going to create another point. This time a point between point 1 and point 2. We start by selecting point 1 and we change the west coordinate of point 1. Next, we create this new root point. We have an error because previously we have our tray in the east direction, the open in the east direction. So we just have to change that to up the open direction and once you apply the changes, you will see the new cable wave. So that's it. That's how you can create cable wave to start your cabling design. Hope you enjoyed this presentation and in the next part, we are going to load cables in the cable way that we have created. See you. Bye.